Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lala's Wild and Crazy Golden Years, where if you have a dream, you need to grab hold and hold on tight. That's what I'm doing with mine. Um, this topic tonight, today, tonight, today, is going to be about skincare and uh, how to get your skin soft and supple, especially at our, our age. And if you're not doing anything right now, this is a, a, a great way to start. It's never too uh, late to, to start taking care of your skin. I was in my 60s when I did, and um, it has helped. In the last 20 months, it has helped incredibly. This is what my skin looked like back in May of 2021. And my face is just devoid of humor. <laughs> Could be the way I'm posing, but my neck has a lot of redness and lines in it. My skin, my jowls kind of hang, but the, the most place I've noticed the improvement on me is my eyes. It uh, has really, really made a difference. And my eyebrows, I'll have to tell you about those later, but those had to be tattooed on. They are just were few and far between. So I started watching, first off, I started watching a lot of videos on skincare, um, on uh, the, how to keep it hydrated, how to apply makeup. And I didn't realize too, these women had been doing their skin care quite a while, so their skin was already in prime shape to apply makeup. Didn't work for me. I delved in too quickly and I tried the quick, quick fix and ended up damaging my skin and spending a lot of money. So the best thing to do is to start out Focusing on the skin before you start buying any expensive makeup. If, you, if you've already got your skin in prime condition, that's great. But if not, this is a way to go. And so I've got it down, dialed it down now to about my skincare in the mornings, about eight minutes and about the same at night. For some people, this is too much time to spend. And if you just want a simple routine to start out with, I have that for you. And there are three tips. First one get a great, gentle uh, face wash. I use this right now, Vanna Cream. Um, it, it's really gentle, I have dry skin, and it has uh, no fragrance, so it smells a little funky, but it really works. You know, you put a good dollop in your hand, get a little water, rub it around, and then more, massage in, massage gently, don't shove it in. This is a place where you don't shove. And you wash it, rush it, at least 35 seconds, and rinse with lukewarm water not hot water, uh, and, it's, and then you pat it dry. And once you pat it dry, then you are ready for your moisturizer. This is, I'm using e.l.f. Holy Hydration. Usually I have uh, the one that doesn't have um, fragrance in it. I, I don't care for the fragrances. Some people just have allergies to them, so you wanna make sure you read the label good. But this has hyaluronic acid, 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 and peptides. And what's wonderful about that is that the hyaluronic acid, even though it sounds like an acid, it's not. It's, gr it's great to use daily and it helps ma maintain your hydration. Then the peptides, they are amino acids that are the building blocks for certain proteins needed by the skin, which is collagen and elastin. So, having said that, the last but not the least is sunscreen. Face sunscreen and body. I do them separately because I, I like more SPF on my face. At least 30 SPF is what you're shooting for. But I, I got this Neutrogena Sheer um, hydrating, it's like a serum that has 60 SPF in it. So it goes on really nicely. And then you pat, you want a nickel size of that because you really want good coverage. Get your ears, you know, every place that's gonna be exposed to the sun, that area. Then next, you're going to move on to your body because yes, it's so important that your body, even in the winter, because the sun is out there and it's just hiding, waiting to burn you. And sun damage is irreversible if you if left alone. I mean, you're just going to get more haggard, and you're, you know, fine lines are going to show up. Your skin will be dry and patchy, uneven skin tone, all of that. Not to mention um, cancers of the skin, and you don't want that. So it's just really easy to do. Did I show you this one? This is Blue Lizard, and this one is a mineral sunscreen, and it's 50 SPF, and uh, it goes on white. That's what mineral sunscreens do, but they're you know they don't have all the chemicals in it. But you can massage it in. I've noticed that it doesn't. It's not greasy or keeps the white. It doesn't do a white too. I don't use those on my face. I use one specifically for the face. So now that you've done that, we're going to reiterate. 
Gentle Cleanser. Wonderful hydrating moisturizer and sunscreen, the most important. Okay, now that we've done that, you've done that and your skin is on its way to being improved, you're set. But if you would like more information on, on, on some of the skincare I use that I saw really great results with, keep watching. So after I've washed my face and I'm nice and pretty, pretty er, I take my on, Timeless Vitamin C. This is the one I'm using right now because it has 20% S, um, 20 Vitamin C and it also has, um, yeah, I gotta get this off. It also has uh, benefits for providing protection against environmental stressors because it's also included vitamin E and 20% ferulic acid. I, I never say that right. And it also corrects pigmentation and discoloration and it illuminates dull complexions. So if you've not used it before, maybe start at 10%. Like I said, I'm really liking this timeless. Uh, vitamin C is not stable, meaning it's um, needs to be kept cool because it'll break down. And I have a little mini fridge during the summer. I put all my products in because I love the cool. But in the winter, it stays pretty good in my room. Don't store it in the bathroom. Refrigerator would be good. Okay, once you've got that on and you've pushed it in, stay away from your eyes and around and your mouth and your lips, but you can go around like that. Then while that's sitting, I will take my, um, this one is L'Oreal's, uh, is hyaluronic and caffeine, 1% caffeine. Now this one can be a little bit much for some people. It, it, I, I can't get it anywhere in my upper eyes because they just, they start peeling. So I take this, it's got little, these little wonderful balls on the end, <laughs> and you take that out and then you just, you know, pat it around and I have a little pocket here, I'll pat it on, but staying away from my upper eyes, do it on the other side, and then I just put it in like this with my fingers so that I'm not, you know, pulling or pressing. Then after I've done that, uh, some people that's all they need. I like to, I need a little bit more for my upper eyes, so I'm using the Philosophy and this is very gentle and has caffeine in it, not as much as that plus other lovely ingredients. And it, you just take a little bit of that, dab it on your fingers the same way, and then I put it, dab it on my eyes, dab it on my eyelids because it does help lift a little bit and it's not, it doesn't bother my eyes. So when you're done with your eyes and your vitamin C is sunk in, it's the next step is hyaluronic acid. I know we've already used hyaluronic acid in our uh, moisturizer and for some that's enough. I like a little added protection because I use uh, Retin-A at night and I'll go into that then when I bring, do the night nighttime skincare. So I use this hyaluronic acid and you put about a dime size in there and you and you do the same. You're going to press in, staying away from your eyes and your lips. Just press it in. I do it on the back too. It just holds in the hydration, gives your skin more plumpicity. <laughs> and when that's done, I seal it in with another ordinary product. And this is the 100% squalene plant-derived squalene oil. I didn't say it right, but it's, let's, let's see if I can get it right if I put my glasses on. So 100% plant-derived squalene, and this holds in the moisture that you just, it holds in the hyaluronic acid, and it's like a double play. So I take a little bit of that, just need a little, and press it all in, and you can get around your eyes on this. This is a nice little cream. So then you've done that, and like I said, if you don't feel you need all this, but this has worked for me, so I just want to share it with you. Once you've done that, then you're going to go on to your hydration, and I use this both morning and night. And it's, you just use a little like I showed you before and mushroom and pat it in all over, really pat it in good. You can, as I said, if you want to swipe, you can do it lightly up like this. That'll, that'll be okay. And then once that's done, this is the step I do. It, may, it won't, won't be for everyone, but I just wanted to share it with you. Um, this is Il Miquelage and they make a lot of products. They're most famous for their makeup, but they came out with this um, plumping serum. And, you know, it just, it firms your skin. I just take a little bit. It is expensive. So if you don't want to pay, I think it was like $60 for it. But if you use it right, which is not very much, it'll last you quite a while. And for that, you do the same as you did for your um, moisturizer. But stay away from your eyes and your lips. 
So then when I'm done there, I let that wait for at least five minutes because you, you want that product to sink in and absorb. So this is a good time to get it and go to the bathroom, brush your teeth if you haven't, uh, something like that for a few minutes to let that soak in. And then I move right on to my sunscreen and I put that on my face. And, my, and while it, it's on my face, now that was the last step. So you've got to wait at least 20 minutes to put on your makeup because in a lip, it won't go on well. It'll kind of separate. And so I will do that. And then I will go have breakfast or feed the dogs or something like that to let that soak in. I like to touch it and I don't want it to be wet. And then I'm ready to put on my makeup. So maybe I should go over that one more time. Just really, really, really quickly. No, I won't because it's too much time. You can watch it again. Oh, that would be great. All right, so for the makeup, how I start. I have Roatia, okay? Really bad right here. And you really can't do anything about that unless you want to pay to have, you know, your face zapped. I don't know, maybe someday I will. I saw my face before I was going to do a tutorial putting on the makeup, and I will at, at some point, but my skin looked angry. It was just like I couldn't even, if I couldn't concentrate, I don't think you could, but well, what the heck has happened? She burnt her face. But I do start out then with this. It's by Maybelline. It's a primer. Primer is very important, but I use the one that is green because that helps reduce the red. It doesn't get rid of it totally. And I, and I do applications with sponges. I just, because my skin is the mature and dry, the, these little wet, get them wet, dry, uh, not soft and wet, and they help your uh, makeup go on great. And this is the same. I put my green, a little bit of green on here, and I go to all the areas that I'm extremely red, which is my nose and my cheeks and my chin. And down here too. It's better, so much better since of all the products I've been using. But um, I do have a spot, so I will, you know, hide that. And then you let that set a few minutes. Uh, get a drink of water, which I need. Mmm. Hydration, hydration, hydration. Inside helps with outside. All right, so the primer's set in now. Now you're gonna do your makeup. And for today, I did uh, L'Oreal's Infallible 24 um, Hour Wear, and it's in the color 455, which is like a neutral beige, I think. My skin changes colors. Even though I wear sunscreen, you do darken and lighten depending on the year. So this, this was really nice and creamy, and it's 12 bucks, I believe. I'm more into the high-end makeup, skin makeup, because it's just really works for me. It just lasts longer, it goes on smoother. So I'll, I'll do another uh, tutorial on the higher-end makeup. When I say higher-end, it's like $45, and, and that is high-end. You can go to, uh, and it's hard, because see, the, the drugstore makeup doesn't have a lot of choices, like some of the higher-end makeup it has you know, three times the amount. So you can go and you can go into Ulta or Sephora, and they will match your skin. Uh, to the, the right, and then at least you know what color, and if you can find it in a lower end, but a, but a good good makeup, like this L'Oreal Infallible, then you don't have to worry, because in the, you cannot try these on in the store. You can buy them, depending on their return policy. If it doesn't work out, take it back. But that's, you don't wanna, you don't wanna do all of that if you don't have to. Check the stores for policy on returns. All right, so then I shake it, 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 really good. And then I pop the cap and I put some on my big sponge. I put a dab and then I will take and I will go and start blending, get some more on, do some more blending. I already did that today. Blend it in. I put it on my eyes as well because my eyes are so discolored. Some people use primer, but I find the makeup works because once you have the makeup around your eye, you may not need much concealer. Oh, I forgot first. I did this for the green, but I also have uh, a little palette by NYX that is a color corrector right there, and they're great. So they have like for dark spots or for under my eyes, are uh, you, most of us have these dark circles. So you want to put that on before your makeup, and you just put it on, you know, just put it on and pull back and look at the mirror because when you look up close, it's like, oh my lord, there's no help for that. But if you stand back where people are, because nobody should be standing right in front of you, then you'll see it's it looks fine. And so you so you do that first, and then you apply your makeup. And um, I have a little tip here too. Sometimes, depending, I still, even though my skin is mostly dry, as the day wears on and it gets warm in this room, I have blotters. They are the best thing ever. You just stick them on. Oh, they help your makeup application 
go on better if it's like I said if you're a little greasy or you got too much product still on underneath and didn't let it soak in these are a must I carry them with me in my purse too I try not to walk around like this in the store all right once you've done that 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 can help before you move on and what I do next is my eyebrows now I had my eyebrows tattooed because my eyebrows as you saw in this picture were hideous so I went to, and I'd had them tattooed before, like 15 years ago. When, when they did them, they were real thin. It, was, it looked good at the time. Now I went to someone here in Boise, and it is very pricey, but it, it's all in, you know, what you're willing to do to lessen the time that you have to do things or just for when you're not wearing makeup. When I'm not wearing makeup, I leave my eyebrows alone. But even tattooed, because I have so much hair missing in spots, it just, and there's places where it just doesn't take. And you get two, when you go in, you get it done and then you get a, a month later, I think it is, within a, within a month later, you get another where they cover over because, and then they look so, so dark, they're frightening. But, and, and then you have to use Vaseline on them. So it's, you wanna do this when it is not sunny outside. <laughs> like go stay in a dark room for three months. Um, so then, but I just, I put sunscreen on it along with my, um, I think it was Aqu Aquaphor I used. But anyway, so now I have a permanent template. So when I go to do my make to fill them in, when I'm wearing makeup, because it really shows off the sparse, rather than if you don't have makeup, is I use a pomade. And I have this pomade that I believe is called, it says blonde, but it's more of a, a, a darker, gray or blonde, I don't know how, and bear a little dab on this little brush, and then you just follow your template, and you got your little spoolie to spread it out, and you do it until you get it. You're never going to get them perfect, because eyebrows are not the same. Probably our eyes aren't the same. Well, one might be like that. So you just, you get it to where you can live with it, and then the next thing I do is eyeshadow, and um, sometimes I don't, depending on where I'm going, but I'm really loving this e.l.f. kick I'm on, this is called Nude Mood. How do you see it? Oh, they're really, really pretty colors. And I'm more of the, the rosies, the, the mauves, the browns than I am to the blues, greens, or even orange. So anyway, I'll take that and I take three colors. And so I take you take your little, your, I use a bigger one. Here it is. Let me show you. This wide one like this. And I dip it in the color that's going to go on my eyelid. So for today, I did this color. It's kind of a, a light brown. And then I put that all over this side of my eye, this side, like the, the lid here and up, because I, I don't really have hooded eyes, but they do have a tendency to sag. So you wanna, you don't know where the, the line is and you just, you don't wanna stop there because then it hides your eyelid. You'll go, you'll take it up. And I do it on both sides, take it up a little bit. And then next, I will take my, uh, I use this for the crease, it's a little fluffy thing, and I will do this dark brown, and I go in, I, I, I can't see, I'll do it this way, I go in like this with a darker and then a V right here, and you want to you wanna keep it right above that, otherwise you're dragging your eye down, we don't want to do that. So I do that, and then I use a lighter color, the this white, in the inner corner and on the lids. And then I take a blender brush and blend it all in, this little guy. And I like it real subtle. I don't like a lot on there. I just, so that's what I, if you want more, there's many eyebrow tutorials out there. After I do that, then I get my um, waterline brush, brush, waterline liner. I don't do the traditional um, liners because see, I'm at my age and the way my eyes are, I want to bring them up. So I take this water liner and it's on the inside of your your eye. I might put this in my eye if I don't careful. So it's just right at the lash line. You follow it all the way around sometimes. Yeah. And it helps to find your eye. Keeps your eye keeps your eye looking up. And after I do that, to let it dry a little bit before I go any further, I will take a bronzer. This one today I used is by Physicians Formula Glow Bronzing Baked Bronzer, light to medium, Clair de Lune. Anyway, and so you put your brush nice, a nice fluffy brush, like so. 
tap it, and then I just brush it around. I just want to give myself a little highlights, look like I'm sun-kissed. Do it again here. Tap it and go around. Mm-hmm. Now, hopefully, my things have dried, my liner has dried, and now I'm going to use a primer. This is an eyelash primer, and it's white. You don't want it to be clumpy. This is the one I'm using, L'Oreal Voluminous, <clears throat> and it works. It, it works great. It's high end. I think it was about ten bucks. Everything's ten bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks. <clears throat> so then I put it on my eyes first, and you don't want it clumpy. You start at the base and go up, and then you want to end on because you want to have length. That's what we're adding to it, and you do both eyes with that. And then while that's setting, I take my um, what do you call my blush, and this one is Laura Geller's. Tropic Hues. It's really pretty. You take your, I like a, a brush like this, like angled, put it in there, and then I start here. I like to go up like that because I have Roisha, so I don't want to add more pink to the apples. Some people like to wear it on the apples. I, I like to wear it on the bananas. <laughs> All right, and once you got that looking like you want, you put that back and now you go on to mascara. So right now I'm using Lash by Tarte. Lashes, 4-in-1 Lashes by Tarte and I love it. I've tried a lot of uh, from drugstore to the high end and I'm just really leaning towards this Tarte. It's it's like $25. I don't know. This here is the, it's $15, is the little trial size you can get in Ulta. I don't know if Sephora has them. But anyway, it just goes on beautifully. Just, you know, I start at the base and go up and it doesn't clump or, or peel, you know, peel off and flake off. And once I'm done with that, let's see. Ooh, where am I now? I didn't get all the way after this. So <laughs> we've done that. We're now to the lips. Oh, my goodness. Now, I have a primer that I use by MAC. You, you don't have to, but with lines around your mouth, you want a nice primer. It'll keep it in there. And then you want to line your lips with a liner. I love this MAC. It is the best. I've tried a million. And um, NYX is not too bad, but they still seem like they drag. This goes on beautifully. And you just want to outline your lips. You can make them a little bit, you know, just don't go far up into those creases. And then after I get that on, then I pick my lipstick, which is L'Oreal's. And this is for, um, this is soft mauve, and it's really, really hydrating. So you can use a lip, one of these lip uh, brushes to put it on, but if you're not shaking all over, you can go, uh-huh, trying to stay within the lines. And there, oh, there you got your lips. Now look how beautiful you look. Don't know where the lid is. All right, now I guess there's a setting powder. Now, because I did stuff under my eyes, I like to use Laura Mercier's highlighting. Um, got it here. It's it's like it just gives it a glowy look without adding color to it. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. This is the regular Laura Mercier uh, setting powder, and it's beautiful. It's translucent, but this is the brightener one I wanted. You dip your brush in and get a nice fluffy brush, swirl it around, tap, and put it under your eyes. Don't drag, pat, like this. It's important if you're using anything under your eyes, brush off any excess, the same on the other eye, it helps set it without having it go in the crease. Just a little goes a long way. So then I do not care, I don't, like to use powder. Sometimes my skin feels dry, especially because of the Retin-A, I'm sure. So I use a um, setting uh, spray by uh, MAC. I get the little sample because it's like $15 and it lasts a long time. But I, I just love this. They have NYX has them. All of them has, um, I think uh, ELF even has a setting spray. So you just try them and see what you like. And then you just go, oh, 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 oh. oh it's so good. Unless you're freezing. And then you can take a sponge and set it in like like a so. There you have it. Oh, and if you need to, you can blot. Like if you've gotten sweaty during that time, you can also blot before you put on your powder. Um, it, it's it's up to you. I just I'm just loving those blotting pow powders. So let me put this back on. There. We're made up, my glasses are dirty, never time. So 
Next time I'm going to be showing you my night routine, what I use and what has got my skin to where I'm really happy. And, uh, and see what you think. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. That's the only way you're going to see more of my mug. And in the comments, please let me know what you'd like to see on this channel and let to bring to you and I will do the best I can. So now I do want to end on a quote from a very funny man, Will Ferrell. Before you marry a person, you should make them use a computer with slow internet to see who they really are. There is truth, so much truth in that one too. Try it. All right. See you next time. Lala out.